Here we go again. So, I saw a video that got posted up on Instagram. And there's a panel of girls. And it's always the chicks that complain about this thing more than the mandem. But this still applies to mandem as well. You people need to stop pulling this colorism card. If the race card wasn't bad enough, people are complaining about colorism. Oh, there aren't enough opportunities for darker skinned women. What the fuck? Like, and, and you watch TV. Like, you ain't seen that there's dark skinned women in this world that are doing well for themselves. You ain't seen the likes of Oprah Winfrey. And even, you don't even have to be that high profile. I see one program, I think it's called Married to Medicine or something like that. Black women doing well for themselves. But this is people's problem. Now this video ain't solely directed at the girls. Because a man them think just like this. They just say, oh, I'm black. Stop. Using excuses for your shortcomings. Stop blaming other people for your problems. Ah, oh, because I'm this skin tone or this colour, this is what... No. Even... Look, you not believe in God? Cool. God made you that way. Deal with it. You think because you're a certain skin colour or you're from a certain background... Your, your destiny is predetermined. Take control of your damn life. Honestly, I think a lot of people actually believe in fate. That, like, your, your, your life is already mapped out. Your road is already paved for you. No, that's bullshit. I, I, I do not believe in fate. You are the master of your own destiny. Nobody controls your destiny. Unless, unless someone kidnaps you, then yeah. But if, you're, if you've been kidnapped, you ain't watching this video, so you ain't got nothing to worry about. You control your own destiny. Nobody else. But what happens is everyone wants to just sit back and just say, oh, well, you know, it's this and it's that. No, it's you. You are the problem. You are your worst enemy. That mindset you have, that victim mentality you have, this is why you are in the position that you're in right now. To come about because you're a certain skin tone, you can't. What? Yeah, all right, fine. In the movies and that, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. And this does happen in other cultures as well. They like to, uh, you know, say for example, like, say for example, you go and watch an Indonesian movie. Now, we all know Indonesian people have the same skin tone as your average Indian person. But when you watch Indonesian movies, all the actors seem to be light skin. So, fucking what? Alright, let's say if you're light skinned, you have it a tiny bit easier. But is that really going to deter you on, and stop you from making a success of yourself? How is being light skinned or how is being dark skinned or how is being black going to change whether or not you can buy a property? How's that going to stop you from getting educated? Oh, because, yeah, because, because, because. Dark skinned people have it worse than light skinned people. Yeah, they, n no dark skinned black girl or no dark skinned black man or no black man ever has graduated from Oxford or Cambridge. Bullshit. Plenty of them. There's even lecturers in Oxford who are black. How about that? And fucking dark skinned as well. Shock horror. Stop making excuses, man. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. But it's up to you. You make excuses all you want. You know? That's fine. But when you see people driving past you in their nice flashy car on their way to their mansion, who are also dark skinned, don't complain. Because, because 
There's nothing special about them. Whatever they've got, you can achieve that as well, you know. You, you can come from the bottom and rise up. I'm a black man. Been to prison. Not for a long time, but I was on the wrong path. In gangs and all them foolishness there. Saturday night, us man, ups up. But you can turn your life around. I've got two properties. I'm in the process of buying my third. Come from nothing. Blood, I, I was on free, free school meals, you know. I was on free school meals. How embarrassing is that to the fact that your parents can't even afford to feed you at lunchtime? You know, say, I had to buy and sell Christmas drinks in school to find my own pocket money. Because my mum couldn't afford to give me pocket money. My mum couldn't even afford to give me £5 a day. Now, I've heard people say, oh, £5 a day is a lot. No, it's not. £5 a day is nothing. One, two sweets before school, after school, you should be able to buy a portion of chips and you know, chicken or whatever. You go to the chicken shop, it's £3.50. You should be able to have a snack after, after school, not have to wait till dinner time or whatever. If your parent watching this right now, and you think giving your child £5 a day for pocket money is a lot of money, well, you, you need to up your, your grind. If £5 a day is a lot for pocket money for a kid, then you need to up your grind. I don't give a fuck. Oh, £100 too much a, a month. No. It should be nothing to you. But the reason why it's a lot, because you're in debt. Because you ain't got a high paying job. Because you ain't willing to make sacrifice. You ain't willing to work overtime. When you were in your 20s, you was messing around. Coasted along through life. And then these are the same people. When they're pensioners, 60, 65, 70, they're going to sit down in their house and they're going to complain that the government don't help them out. They're going to complain that the gas bill is too high. It costs too much to heat their home. But what was you doing when you was in your 20s, in your 30s? Was you living a mediocre lifestyle? Was you partying every weekend? Enjoying yourself because you feel entitled was you going on holiday two, three times a year because you feel entitled? Everyone, everyone feels like they're entitled to a holiday. Why? Why are you entitled to a holiday three times a year? Why? Because you, you, you work an average nine to five. Because you do 40 hours a week. That don't make you entitled to no flipping holiday. You're entitled to a holiday when you're achieving new things constantly, or at least... Striving to achieve new things constantly. You're not entitled to a holiday just because you work a 40-hour shift every single week. And yeah, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Fine. If you want to think that you're entitled to a holiday three times a year or even once a year just doing the normal nine-to-five mediocre thing, then that's up to you. But me personally, I don't feel like I'm entitled to a holiday every single year. And I'm the one, I, I'm fucking grinding. If you, if you feel like you're entitled to holiday every, every year, three times a year, do it. That's cool. But it's all a mindset, though. You should be working towards a holiday, you know. Not just taking a holiday for the sake of taking a holiday. What makes you entitled to that holiday? What sacrifice have you made? Just because you got the money for holiday, that don't mean you're entitled to a holiday. What, what are you talking about? That don't mean you're entitled to a holiday. You're entitled to a holiday, but yeah, you've been working overtime, working on Saturday and Sunday when you should really have a rest for a few months 
Yeah, then maybe you're entitled to holiday. Maybe. But if you're just doing the average thing Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, you ain't entitled to no damn holiday. Why? What, what, what? Because the six weeks holiday is coming up or whatever. You ain't entitled to no holiday. Your holiday is on the weekend. But that's, that's the thing. I was going to say the British, as in, you know, people in Britain, not, not aiming at nobody's colour or nothing like that. Just people in general, people are lazy. People think they're entitled to a holiday. You're entitled to nothing. Anyway, I've, as you know, obviously, man's always getting off topic and that. But, yeah. Stop the fucking complaining, man. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You can you, you can be anything you want in this world, man. It, it, it's, it, it's too simple. People make it so difficult. I mean... You know, I always hope that everyone does better for themselves. But there's some people out here, they're just going to... They're just going to exist. They're going to born, live and die. With nothing to show for their years. You know what? If you're, if you're happy to just be a mediocre person, that's fine. I just don't want to hear the complaining. Why can't the people who live shit lives and, and uh, who are unhappy... Shut their mouths and be quiet about being unhappy. Why do they have to go and vent on social media, vent to their friends, vent to me that their lives are shit? Just don't complain. Don't complain. We don't. No one wants to hear about your skin color. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about your skin color. They're just trying to use that as an excuse. If it's not your colour of your skin, then it's the skin tone of you, yeah. If it's not your skin tone, then it's YouTube shadow ban. Always an excuse for failure. Always an excuse for being unsuccessful. But yeah, everyone thinks they're entitled to holiday. You know, you, you, you're not entitled to no damn holiday every single year. Why? Because you just work a nine to five. No, no, no that's... That's foolishness. You, you don't need a holiday every single year. Get into your mind. Program yourself to only sort after a holiday when you've done something out of the ordinary. You've made sacrifices. You've stepped out of your comfort zone. If you ain't done that, then you're not entitled to a holiday. Stay wise.